All right, Shalom. Uh, first off, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Chakudash, uh, double honors to our apostles and elders of GMS, and uh, to the elect doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Uh, Nazar Khad here, GMS precepts. And pretty much, um, I don't have a title for this video, but um, the Lord is turning up the heat, man. Maybe I'll make that the title. The Lord is turning up the heat. Okay, you've got situations, uh, you know, what's what's leading the news right now is this, this this coronavirus right now. What's it say? This is uh from AP News, Associated Press. Tensions rise as U.S. death toll from coronavirus reaches nine. Okay, um, I believe Seattle, I believe Seattle is um not, I don't know if it's a whole city of, of uh, Seattle, but a part of Seattle is under quarantine. Okay, let's look through some pictures here. A man wearing a mask and goggles rides his bike outside the park in Washington. Right now, Washington is, is pretty, pretty bad right now, okay? It's pretty bad. All right, you got shit shutting down. You got motherfuckers doing elbow bumps, pumps instead of shaking hands, okay? F fist pumps. Um, it's, a real, it's, a, it's a real scare, man. Okay, whether it's controlled or whether it's not in their control, maybe they didn't expect it to be this bad. Also, what's what's being affected by this coronavirus is the stock market, man. The stock market has been plummeting. It was the it was the worst week last week in a, in a long time. And matter of fact, it was it was the worst week last week since the crash in 08. Okay, as far as the stock market. It was the stock market's worst week since 08, the last time it crashed. So the coronavirus is just, uh, it's snowballing into other facets of daily life. Okay, you got food stores there. You you, you know it's going to be a food store. As matter of fact, you got uh, people hoarding food, hoarding supplies, hoarding water. Um, hey, man, it's getting real work. And the most high, you know what, let me go uh, to... Uh, this scripture here in Habakkuk 2 and the second chapter. It seems like this uh, this uh, verse or this scripture is always coming out. But hey, hell, we're in, we're in that time. That's why it's always coming out. Okay? So this scripture is going to keep coming out until, it, until uh, you know, th this scripture and other prophecies are going to keep coming out until they come into uh, f uh, fru fruition or, or reality. Which, which this one is, right? So this is uh, Habakkuk 2, and I'll start at the second verse. It says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision, now it's got to, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's about to explain what this vision is. Uh, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but it, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Okay, so how do you know we're at the end times right now? This vision, which is the prophecies that was written thousands of years ago, okay, it's speaking now. Okay, it's for an appointed time, the end time, like the wars, wars and rumors of wars, um, uh, the pestilence which is happening right now, um, uh, uh, the main one right now. Which is uh, which is that microchip in in Revelation? That microchip, the mark of the beast, okay? That RFID microchip. That's the main vision that's speaking right now. All right. So all these scriptures are speaking, right? That's how you know we're at the end. It says, "Cause at the end it shall speak." All of these prophecies that were for thousands of years, not eight, not um, uh, the Lord didn't reveal the true meaning of it uh, at that time. Now the Lord is revealing it now. Okay? And it says, and they will not lie. When the scripture says there should be wars and rumors of wars, you best believe it's going to happen. When the scripture says that there's going to be mass death, there's going to be pestilence all over this earth, you best believe that's going to happen, man. And that's what's happening right now. Okay? Um, so the Lord is turning up the heat, man. Let me... um. This is just something. This is on the Huffington Post. This is the latest... News, if you go to, uh, this damn devil, and this is nothing but a distraction, okay? Uh, if you go to, what, what did I click here? Coronavirus updates. This is what's trending as far as the, the coronavirus, okay? Uh, and you see all this news here. Trump claims he hasn't touched his face in weeks. Catholic Church 
are emptying holy water fonts. Oh, Catholic churches, where's their faith at? They're emptying the holy water so they won't risk any cor <laughs> any f the fear of coronavirus. Well, that's supposed to be holy water, though, right? Okay. For people 45 plus at this? average risk. God I took your. Salakia. Saint My doctor Donald. to order Cola Guard. Salakia, brothers. All right, but what happened to their faith, man? I thought the coronavirus, I thought that's holy water. You know, I thought you uh, were spiritual people. Okay? Anyway, nothing but frauds and damn rapists. Uh, so let me get this scripture. This is uh, Second Ezra, the 16th chapter in Apocrypha. I'm going to read the 37th verse. And it reads, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. So what are the plagues? Those plagues are the prophecies, man. They're drawing nigh and they're not slack. Uh, here's a allegory right here. This is uh, verse 38. As when a woman with child in her ninth in the ninth month bringing forth her son with two or three hours of her birth great pains can pass her womb which pains when the child cometh forth they slack not a moment okay even so shall the plagues not be slack upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side so the scriptures are, are making a, a comparison to when a woman gives child when before that a uh, child is born, right? Uh, you have those labor pains, okay? And the closer you, you, the closer you get to the actual childbirth, or the delivery of the child, guess what? Those labor pains they get stronger and stronger, and they come more frequently, okay? And they what? They don't slack. So the Most High is comparing um, these prophecies to a woman with childbirth, birth, and her labor pains. These prophecies are just going to come one after another, after another, after another, man. Okay? You had uh, a few weeks ago, it started those uh, locusts over there in the, mid in the Middle East and in Africa, the east coast of Africa. That's that's causing a damn famine, man. Is not famine in the scriptures, man? Might be in this verse right here. Let me go. No, it's in 15. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry, previous chapter, 2nd Ezra 15, okay, previous chapter, oh, that was right here, uh, it says, this is 2nd uh, Ezra 15 and 5, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, okay, and that's what's coming, those, those are the plagues that were spoken about. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Um, yeah, man. I, I I think that's it. I just wanted to make a quick video on, um, you see all these, uh, California. They, they just announced their first death. L.A. declares an emergency, confirmed six new cases. A medical screener at LAX test positive. Okay. Amen. Hey, it's just going to get worse and worse. All right. Uh. That's pretty much it. Lord willing, you brothers are edified until the next show. Shout out one.